What's up UHS hardware fans, it's me Louie here today in the UHS studio going over the brand new XP005L from XWars. Included in the box, the power cord and adapter, a test key blank, the aligning shim, a two-sided M5 clamp, 2mm to 4mm hex wrenches, four 2mm pro bolts, two milling probes, two milling cutters, 1.5 and 2.5mm, a cleaning brush, as well as instructions and certificates. First, remove the shipping bracket using the provided hex wrenches to remove the M4 screws from the top and the M8 screws from the bottom. Next, locate the M5 clamp. Loosen the clamp bracket using the hex wrench. Then slide the clamp into the slot with the handle facing right from right to left. Locate the small bag containing the tiny 2mm bolts. Use those to install the probe and cutters into the top brackets. Probe on the left, cutter on the right. When ready, plug in the machine to charge it and power it on with the button located on the right side of the unit. Select desired language and accept permissions to continue to set up. Connect to a dependable Wi-Fi signal using the touch display attached to the machine. From this point forward, you need your XHorse Key Tool Max or a cell phone with the XHorse app installed. When ready, go ahead and bind your device to the XP005L using Bluetooth. Once you set up your base details and language options, it's time to calibrate. To begin calibration, select Device Information from the main menu, then choose Clamp Deviation Detection. Rotate the M5 clamp base to side A or side B as instructed by opening the jaw until loose and giving it a good flip. Insert your key blank into the M5 jaw with the tip aligned to the last line. Press Start when you're ready to begin. Next, we can do cutting calibration. When ready, loosen up your key link and move it back to the third line before continuing. Continue once your key is securely installed and laying flat against the clamp base. Select your milling cutter size and press start when you're ready. After the test is completed, clean the clamp off with your included brush and remove the key blank. Then we can begin the motor measurement test to see if all motors are moving correctly. Once motor measurement has completed, we'll move straight into the altitude detection of the probe and cutter.
Make sure the clamp is fully closed before you begin or you will error out and not be able to complete this step. We're gonna move on to electrical conductivity measurement to make sure the conductivity sensors for the probe and cutter are functioning correctly. To complete the test, take your key blink and, and separately touch it from the probe to the clamp base and then to the cutter and clamp base. You should get a green light and an OK symbol, and once you do, you're clear to move on to the next step. As soon as you complete this test, you'll be moved straight into the motor position adjustment menu where you can make small adjustments to each of the X, Y, and Z motors to make sure they're in the right position for the best connectivity for you. You don't have to make any changes here, but it is helpful if necessary. Next up is your cutting settings, which gives you the ability to adjust your motor rotation and movement speed, set cutter diameter, and customize the unit lighting and system sound options. The parameter info menu gives you basic data of your motor and height settings. Once we're done there, we can return to the main menu and select update to check the status of our software. If any updates are needed, do not continue to use the machine for cutting or any sort of work until it is completely updated. Firmware has to be updated separately using a PC. Check out our other videos on the XP005 for information on how to do that with the older model, or wait for us to update shortly with a new video showing you how to do it with this model. Once we're ready with the updates, we can go ahead and move on to some cutting, and we're gonna start with the universal key duplication. We're gonna do a double-sided automotive key aligned at the shoulder, we're going to insert it into the clamp based off of the instructions in the XWorks app. Line it up to the third line, secure it flatly to the clamp, and we're going to decode the key as soon as we're ready. Once we're ready, we can go ahead and insert our metal test key to the third line, just as the original key was. And once it's secure and in place, we can hit cut. The machine will automatically cut it to match the original key. Once we're done, we can take it out, compare them to each other, and we'll see that they're exactly the same. And that's it. Super simple, really easily done with the brand new Bigger Better and Faster XP005L. If you're interested in this machine or any of the metal test keys from Keyless Factory, go ahead and head over to uhs-hardware.com and search for Keyless Factory or XP-005L now to pre-order. You can also check below in the description for links to this product as well as many others. I'm Louie, thank you guys for coming by. Make sure you're following along with our YouTube channel you click like and you subscribe to our channel click the bell icon so you can be notified every single time new content is posted as always it's great to have you guys here we'll catch you guys soon see you back here again have a good one